Hello and welcome to this YouTube video. Today we're looking at how to add birthdays to your Discord server using the Me6 bot. Now the Me6 bot is one of the most popular bots on Discord and it's a very high chance that you've already got this bot in your server. But if you do not have it in your server, let's go through how you add it to your server. Firstly, you want to go to me6.xyz or xyz, depending where you're from, and then click add to Discord. And then you'll be presented with a list of servers that you either own or you have administrator powers in. Um, so we're going to use the Bean Room as our server today, just like we did with the Zara bot tutorial. So let's click the button here and you'll see this window pop up. And this will just be like any other bot window you get up where you have to just click the uh, continue button here. And then you have to authorize uh, the following permissions, which it of course needs to do its job. So authorize here. And you'll get one of these things as well just to confirm you are human and there we go so now we've got the dashboard so here in the dashboard is everything you need to control the bots you've got the commands you've got the welcome message and all that sort of thing i can go over that in another video if that's uh, requested but let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like me to do but for this video we're looking at specifically birthday so if we scroll down a bit you'll see engagement and fun and then you have birthday so i've already enabled the plugin uh, but if we go back to it, you can enable all of these just by clicking them and this little uh, pop-up window will come up, yes or no. Uh, so if I want to, I can actually uh, disable this as well, uh, just by clicking the button at the top. We scroll back down again, enable it, there we go. So if you, if you do change your mind about not wanting this at all, you can easily do that here. But of course, we do want the bot here, so let's go through what it has on offer. So first things first is the happy birthday wishing channel. So this will be the channel in your server where the bot will wish a user their happy birthday. Um, so you can have it in general or like I've done previously, I made a birthday specific channel and you can click that one and select that. That is completely up to you, but this will be where the bot will wish your users their birthdays. Then moving over to the right here, we have the happy birthday wishing hour. So this will be the time of the day when the bot will actually wish the user a happy birthday in the server. Uh, so you can pick any of the uh, hours in the day uh, you can change your time zone here if you need to, uh, but maybe pick a time which will uh, hit a lot of different time zones, you know. So for me, being in the UK, I have quite a lot of American and uh, Canadian users in the server. So if you pick a time maybe in the early afternoon, that will still strike a lot of uh, time zones where it will hit their correct day of, of birthday. Um, so yeah, just make sure you get that correct um, because, you know, you don't want to wish someone a birthday when it's not their birthday yet in their time zone. Now, if we move down a bit, you'll see the happy birthday wishing message. So this will be the actual message the bot sends in the server on the day. Um, so they've just got a standard, it's the birthday of user with a cake emoji, which is pretty boring. So feel free to customize that all you like. Add some emojis here as well if you need. Um, and you can also have one with age included too, if you want. Um, now you can toggle it on or off here with these buttons if they need to uh, have a year as part of their birthday. Uh, but for me, I didn't because I don't see it necessary. But for some servers, you'll actually want ages to be a part of the uh, birthday uh, greeting. So that's completely up to you. Um, for some servers, I know that will be a big thing. For some, I know it'll be a big no-no. So at least they've got the options here for you. Next up, I've moved down here so you can see this a bit more clearly. Um, what you can also do with the Me6 bot is actually assign a birthday role to whoever's birthday is. Um, they do recommend actually uh, making a dedicated role for this, so we've done that. Um, so if you click the plus sign, you'll see a birthday role. So, for example, if I have, if I have all my users as like white color, um, when it is that user's birthday, they'll come up as blue and it'll, they'll stand out in the server. So that's sort of completely up to you what you want to do with that. You can call it whatever you want again you don't have to call it birthday you can have it whatever color you want as well but it's a cool option there as well just to give that person a bit more of a, a spotlight on that day finally we get to the most important part of this page which is your command list to add all these birthdays and add all that data into your server uh, so what i do recommend is actually taking a screen grab of these six commands so if you ever need to refer back to it you can just go to your server and look at that screen grab so let's quickly go through those six commands. We have forget birthday, which will remove your birthday from the server. Then we have next birthdays, which will be the, uh, listing the 10 upcoming uh, birthdays in your server. Then we have remember birthday, which will add your birthday personally to your server, uh, which I'll do a demonstration of in a second. Uh, then we have set user birthday, which will set somebody else's birthday into your server. Again, I'll do a demonstration of that as well. 
Then we have just birthday, which will uh, show how many days are remaining until it is your birthday. And then we have unset user birthday, which will remove another user's birthday from the server. Something I must add as well, if you do actually click the buttons of these uh, different commands, you can go for different roles that are allowed to use it, banned roles, cooldowns, all that sort of thing. So uh, if you do need to change any of these settings, you can easily do that by just clicking on the button of each different command. So with everything in the dashboard now gone through regarding birthdays, let's actually start adding some birthdays to our server. First off, let's add our birthday. So we've got the command remember birthday, and then if you put the month first, so we've got to go a bit different here, the month first this time, and then the date second, and then enter, the bot should then respond to you as it has done here, saying duly noted, I oh, wish Willie Kimbo's next birthday in 275 days on the 15th of January, 2022. And then of course, if you remember, we have that command birthday. If you type in any channel now, uh, birthday, it will remind me how many days are left to go until the next birthday. Now, if for some reason you got that date wrong uh, and you want to forget the birthday, you can just use the command forget and then dash birthday. And then that will not be wished any longer. Next up, we want to add someone else's birthday to the server. So we're going to use OG Little Hippie for example here. So we've got set user birthday. Then you put in the date like we did before ourselves. So we put the uh, month and then the date. And then we at the person whose birthday it is. So we're at OG Little Hippie. Click enter. And you'll get the same message back like we did for ourselves earlier. And it'll tell you how many days are left to go until the big day. So we have a couple birthdays now in the server. We can use the command next birthdays and the me six bot will apply with the upcoming birthdays in your server. So we only got two here as I only showed you two, but if you know, once you've added all your birthdays in your server, you'll get a nice list of the upcoming 10 birthdays in your server. And lastly, if there's ever a reason where you need to remove someone's birthday from your server, just use the unset user birthday command with the, again, tag the user. And again, me six will reply uh, just confirming that that's done correctly. If you ever do this incorrectly, Me6 will also respond just telling you what you need to do. Uh, if you've done the dates wrong, for example, it will tell you the format you need to follow. So hopefully this video has helped you add birthdays to your server using the Me6 bot. Um, if you have any issues though, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, feel free to drop a like if you did enjoy it and it help you. Subscribe for more as I will get more videos out very soon and I'll see you in the next one.